Hey ghosts, I've been searching for a fix to YouTube compression, and I think I found something, but it's not for the faint of heart. If you've uploaded anything to YouTube, you'll notice that when filming dark scenes or anything with a gradient such as a smooth wall, you get banding, which also makes grain invis invisible if not pixely. But I realized with HDR remastered content that banding is significantly better. So I did some digging, and it seems as though HDR has more requirements such as 720p, 10-bit log, HLZ or raw footage, wide color gamut, and this made me hypothesize that HDR requires a higher bitrate, which means that if YouTube allows HDR videos, then it should have more bandwidth and will compress 4K footage less. So I did a lot of testing, I uploaded a lot of videos, and you can see these in the description because I'm uploading in, in standard dynamic range, so you might not be able to see the examples very clearly from this video, but you can click these videos and see for yourself. Now you might need a MacBook or HDR monitor, but it gives you an idea. So after these failed uploads, it does seem to reduce banding. As you can see from this footage, it's a lot cleaner. In this footage, it's a lot cleaner. You can even see the noise. But for standard dynamic range, you have the same problem. You have a lot of pixely grain and you have a lot of banding. So there is a solution to this, but it's not as easy as it sounds. So please brace yourselves. HDR upload is extremely complex. You will require an HDR capable display with a deck link or ultra studio, which is something I didn't have for this experiment. And without these expensive tools, you would be color grading your footage blind, which is why some of my footage I've, that I've uploaded has such weak contrast. Now, there are some workarounds, including a video monitoring LUT, which will approximate what your HDR content would look like. I'm using Wesley Knapp's LUT, which I've also linked in the description. He has a blog that you guys should all check out. And once you have met these requirements, you will then have to use ACES or DaVinci Color Managed Workflow. So these are the settings I've used. So this requires REC 2020 or ST2084-1000 nit output. And the file needs to be BT2020 for YouTube to recognize the footage, the video as HDR content. Now for video monitoring, you will want to match the match the timeline with a video format. So I'm using 20 uh, 4K Ultra HD, and so my video format will also be the same. And I also selected full, and make sure that video depth is 10 bit because HDR content needs to be at least 10 bit. And you can choose either Dolby Vision or HDR10. Now HDR10 is a little bit more flexible and compatible across different systems, so I suggest that one. And in export, you will need to export it with the QuickTime format. The codec should be DNXHR, and the type should be 444, 10-bit or 12-bit, depending on your original footage. And then I've selected to embed the HDR10 metadata, and these are the settings that I've used. Now, assuming that you have the settings correctly dialed in, which is an uncertainty in and of itself, you'll now have to regrade your footage and learn a completely new workflow. This is much less established territory than your typical grading workflow with Camera Raw, Rec 2020, and Color Space Transforms, but do make sure to change your nodes. It should be HDR mode, and you want to do this for all of your nodes, especially the ones that change exposure. You might not even need to do this for grain or other effects. Now, you could also just pay for software that converts your SDR videos to HDR, but I haven't used them, so you have to proceed down that rabbit hole yourself. If this hasn't turned you off and crushed your hopes, maybe this will. Not everyone uses an HDR monitor. So only people with MacBooks or professional HDR monitors will be able to see your clean images. But for everyone else with a typical SDR display, they'll be watching in the typical 4K SDR resolution. And it will look much worse, and it will probably have the same compression and banding issues from YouTube, 
which defeats the purpose. However, you can inject the monitoring LUT used for your footage with Wesley uh, Knapp's bat file. And I've also linked this in the description. But this is for Windows. Nevertheless, both of these files will be linked in the description for you to check out, as well as this blog. Now, from what I've seen from other uploaders, HDR content has a much higher image quality ceiling. If it becomes more common, it could be the new format for YouTube and we future dinosaurs will just have to relearn our workflow. But the popularity could also throttle the bandwidth so much that YouTube will have to compress HR videos as well until another new format is invented. I'm by no means a master of HDR content. I don't even have HR equipment. All I've done is noticed that HR content has less YouTube compression. So do with this information what you will. I've left you the trail of breadcrumbs and it's up to you to decide what to do with it. Leave a comment if this intrigued you, and subscribe for more content, or check out the Discord for some even cooler stuff. Cheers.